Did the confinement and stress of the pandemic affect women's sexuality? What is the relationship between cardiovascular health and sexual function? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, the confinement and stress of the pandemic may have affected women's sexuality in various ways. Stress, anxiety, and changes in daily routines can influence sexual desire and satisfaction. However, responses can vary from person to person. Cardiovascular health and sexual function are linked. Healthy blood circulation is essential for optimal sexual function. Cardiovascular diseases can negatively affect sexual response. Regular exercise and a healthy lifestyle benefit both the cardiovascular system and sexual function. Orgasm duration. On average, a female orgasm can last between 13 and 51 seconds, although some women may experience shorter or longer orgasms. Orgasm without ejaculation. Similar to men, some women can experience orgasms without the expulsion of fluids, like male ejaculation. This phenomenon is known as female ejaculation, or squirting. Partner's role. The partner's attitude and response to premature ejaculation can influence how the problem is perceived and managed. Open communication and mutual support can be crucial in addressing the situation. Pelvic floor muscles. Anal sex can strengthen pelvic floor muscles, which can have benefits for sexual and reproductive health. Personal care. Personal care, including hygiene, style, and health, can also influence attraction. Physical and psychological causes. Erectile dysfunction can have various causes, ranging from physical problems such as cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, and obesity, to psychological causes such as stress, anxiety, and depression. Pleasure without sex. It's possible to experience sexual pleasure without the need for sexual intercourse. Erogenous stimulation of other body parts, such as the neck, breasts, or thighs, can lead to orgasm in some individuals. Point A is an area inside the vagina that some women find particularly sensitive. Stimulation of this area can lead to intense orgasms and is less known than the G-spot. Polysexual relationships. Some individuals identify as polysexual, meaning they can feel sexual attraction to individuals of various genders, regardless of whether they identify as men, women, or any other gender identity. Pornography and technology. Technology has democratized the production and distribution of pornography with the creation of online platforms where users can upload and share their own content. Positions for exploring new sensations. Exploring new sexual positions can be exciting and rewarding for many women, as it allows them to discover new ways of pleasure and enjoyment with their partner. Post-orgasm sensitivity. After an orgasm, some women may experience increased sensitivity in erogenous zones, making them more responsive to additional stimulation. Power role fantasies. Some people enjoy sexual fantasies involving power roles, such as boss employee, teacher student, or doctor patient. These fantasies can provide a safe way to explore consensual power exchange in a controlled environment. Prevention and timely treatment are crucial for controlling the spread of sexually transmitted diseases. Awareness campaigns, access to sexual and reproductive health services, and sexual education are key components of efforts to address this public health issue. Professional consultation. If any health concerns arise or persistent discomfort is experienced, it is advisable to seek guidance from health professionals, such as doctors or sex therapists. Prostate orgasm. Prostate stimulation can lead to intense orgasms in men, often achieved through anal stimulation, known as the prostate orgasm. Rediscovery in the digital age. With the advent of the internet, the Kama Sutra has experienced a resurgence online with numerous websites, blogs, and resources dedicated to exploring and sharing its teachings in a modern context. 
refractory period and multiples. In general, men have a refractory period after orgasm, during which they cannot have another orgasm. Women do not have a refractory period, allowing them to experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session. Relation to pleasure. For some people, anal sex can provide additional pleasure due to the stimulation of nerve endings in the anal area. Relationship between sex and health. Sex can have numerous health benefits, including stress reduction, strengthening the immune system, and improving mood. Research on pornography. Research on pornography spans a wide range of disciplines, including psychology, sociology, anthropology, and gender studies, exploring its effects and role in society. Risks and injury prevention, lack of adequate lubrication, rough penetration, or the use of inappropriate objects can increase the risk of injuries. Taking precautions is essential to avoid problems. Role playing. Some couples enjoy role playing during foreplay, where they can explore different fantasies and erotic scenarios, such as doctor-patient play, teacher-student, or clandestine encounters. Screening tests. STD screening tests can be performed at health clinics, medical offices, and sexual health centers. And some STDs can also be diagnosed through home testing kits. Sense of adventure. Some women are attracted to men who are willing to explore the world and have exciting experiences. Sensual massages. Body massages can be an extremely sensual form of foreplay for women. Using aromatic oils and gentle movements can relax the body and increase sexual arousal. Sex and longevity. Regular sexual activity has been associated with increased longevity in some studies. Intimacy and sex can have health benefits as people age. Sex education varies widely worldwide. Some countries have comprehensive sex education programs in schools, while in others, sex education is limited or non-existent. Sex phobia. Genophobia is the extreme fear or aversion to sex. It can be debilitating and is often related to past traumatic experiences. Sexual therapy and counseling can be helpful in overcoming this phobia. Sexual and gender identity. Diversity. Human sexuality is diverse and complex, and individuals may identify with a wide range of sexual and gender identities, including heterosexual, gay, lesbian, bisexual, queer, transgender, among others. Sexual diversity. Human sexuality encompasses a wide range of sexual orientations, including heterosexuality, homosexuality, bisexuality, and pansexuality, among others. Sexual empowerment. Actively participating in foreplay can empower women by allowing them to express their sexual desires and needs openly and without inhibition, promoting greater self-confidence in themselves and their sexuality. Sexual fantasies. Many women turn to sexual fantasies during masturbation to increase excitement and pleasure. These fantasies can vary widely and may include erotic situations, locations, or imaginary individuals. Sexual pleasure at all stages of life. Sexual pleasure is not limited to youth. People of all ages can enjoy a satisfying and fulfilling sex life. Sexuality is an integral part of human well-being at all stages of life. Sexual records? Wondering about the female sexual record? American porn actress Lisa Sparks claims to have had sex with 919 men, according to the Guinness World Records. In a scientific study, 134 orgasms were recorded in an hour in a woman, while men reached a maximum of 16 orgasms in the same period. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.